in London. It's a performing arts school, for most of you who won't know. Um, I was really proud to have studied there, and 10 years ago was when I was there, and last month I received an email to ask me to write a piece of spoken word about the um, importance of art in education. I think we're all out here today, this evening, I think we all understand and appreciate that we want to discuss the role of art in society and what we can use it to achieve. So I'm going to share this piece with you, and I'd like to start by inviting and raising a statement made by Nikki Morgan, which quickly needs recalling because it's literally appalling. Nikki, the Secretary of Education, attempts to make the case that the arts should be surpassed because basically they pay less. She claims to know for sure that art closes doors and unless it's maths or physics, it's not something she'll support. She warns that she's right and does more than imply the people who study art will lead a poorer life. She then goes on to reference statistics of wages and claims the creatives are victims who won't get a job because they need maths and physics and that's just a fact and art isn't a business. Which is actually the part that's so ironic because the arts have proved in large to produce the fastest growth in profit. Take a look critically at the creative industries. In 2013, its growth was tremendous. 10% more than all other sectors. It's moving towards even bigger projections and it's proved to secure huge inward investment. Its GVA clearly states 80 billion pounds a year. I'll say that again loud and clear. 80 billion pounds a year. You just can't try and pretend that this industry is obsolete when it's got 2 million jobs and 5% of the economy. And honestly, whatever you may think, her statements made imply two main things. One, that the primary role of education is to get a job. Now, we've already established that art creates employment, so avoiding art and cutting funds are paths to be avoided. But in general, it's really quite disturbing that in Nikki's view, the purpose of learning is working. What Nikki's most concerned with is business development. But what about a person's holistic development? Shouldn't we endeavor to develop people's empathy, connection to others, respect and integrity? Shouldn't they be encouraged to reflect on their identity, to find what their strengths are and be whatever they're meant to be? I think it's quite clear there's more to working than learning. But further, isn't there also more to working? than earning. You see, the second major implication of a statement is that people seek a higher wage more than a vocation. But of course, what we really want are jobs that we can thrive in. We're all interested in living, not simply just surviving. But it's kind of funny, I don't know if you noticed, but suddenly currency has become the focus of this conversation of ours, which was education and art. Now, it's not easy to quantify the benefits of art. Development isn't always something you can chart, but I'll give it a go and I'll make it quick. I just don't know where to begin. I mean, art teaches teamwork, listening, compliance, research, discipline, defiance, finance, consistency, history, science, independence, literacy, industry, self-reliance, self-belief, acumen, will, dedication, speech, management skills and presentation, preparation, planning, the fruits of patience, the work of interpersonal skills, communications. <laughs> Basically, key skills to serve them for life. These are some of the things that art brings to young minds. But, <laughs> As I say, it's not easy to quantify the benefits of art. Development isn't always something you can chart. Sometimes growth comes within a person's heart to learn to understand the world so they can play their part. Sometimes the miracles of art aren't visible. Sometimes they only come to light in the dark. And art, my savior, was provided by the Brit School. They showed me a future and they helped me build a path. Art is at the heart of education. It facilitates growth, provides a path to elevation, it's synonymous with confidence. Art is the creation not only of a product, but of us as a nation. We need a growth of people before growth in profit, an expansion of minds, not just an expansion of wallets, an enrichment of lives, not simply our wallets, an enrichment that provides the Britain and Sudan that we promised. 
We need real enrichment in this Britain and Sudan. The bars and it's an enrichment we're given through art. Thank you.